Welcome to the Noonday Meditation with Wayne Vernon. John chapter 20, 19 and following. On the evening of that first day of the week, when the disciples were together with the door locked for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. After he said this, he showed them his hands and sighed. The disciples were overjoyed when they saw the Lord. Again, Jesus said, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, I am sending you. And with that, he breathed on them and said, Receive the Holy Ghost. If you forgive anyone his sins, they are forgiven. If you do not forgive them, they are not forgiven. A critical aspect of the post-resurrection conversations, which is presented by all four evangelists, is the commissioning of the disciples of Jesus Christ. In the verses above, this important conversation is presented by the Apostle John as well. John declares that when our Lord met with his disciples on the first day of the week, he used four important words to them before he commissioned them. And these words are, Peace be with you. This was a necessary reassurance for the disciples of Jesus Christ who were going through a, a plethora of, of, of emotions. Think about it. They were hearing all kinds of narratives and you know they were having several novel experiences and therefore they were all conflicted. In addition, they had locked themselves in a room and thought they were securely hidden away from the Jewish religious establishment. But Jesus entered the room through locked doors. That must have been a scary experience. No wonder they thought it was a ghost. Fully understanding their emotions at this time and all their confusion, their doubt, their misunderstanding, their fear. Jesus showed them the physical evidence of his risen body. After he said this, he showed them his hands and sighed. The disciples were overjoyed when they saw the Lord. At this point, Jesus again provides a word of reassurance for them. He said, Peace be with you. Jesus assures his disciples two times, Peace be with you. Loved ones, what is it today in your life that is creating turmoil, uh, that creates, creates disturbance and dissonance in, in, your, in your own life? What is it that is confusing you today? What is it that is so complicated for you today? I offer you a word of reassurance. These four words, in fact, peace be with you. These four words are very critical words. We see them used in other places as well. Or the concept being used in both Old and New Testament. The word of reassurance. So today I speak peace over your life. Despite the conflicts, despite the crisis, despite the complication, despite the confusion in your family, on the job, with your finances, with your spiritual life, I speak the word of Jesus over you today. Peace. Peace instead of confusion. 
peace instead of war in that family crisis, that crisis on the job, the conflicts around you, the conflicts in your relationship. I speak peace over you today. The peace of God, which passes all understanding and the, 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 the attempt of the enemy to create dissonance and disturbance is a plot to create distress and depression. We speak peace today over every depressive thought that you may be having, every suicidal thought, every disruption and disturbance in your spirit. We speak peace. We say peace be with you today let the god of peace bring peace into your life no matter what the disturbance might be should you need further instructions in these matters please feel free to text the number 647-696-0422 should you desire to surrender your life to the lord jesus christ please text the word salvation to this same number and someone will support you at this time please remember my recent book six practices of effective leadership it is now available on amazon you can pick up your copy also at the west toronto church of god the link is provided in the description below may the grace of our lord jesus christ be with you all amen for listening to the Noonday Meditation with Pastor Wayne Vernon. Please forward this study to your friends, your relatives, associates, neighbors, and all those persons in your social network. If you have a prayer request, please feel free to communicate with us and we will commit to supporting you in prayer. Until we meet again tomorrow, Shalom.